What's up guys, Steve Craig Retro Games back with another video and tonight's video is an updated Virtual Boy game collection video. Um, I have 13 of the 14 North American Virtual Boy games released. Uh, the only game I am missing is obviously Jack Bros. It's the one game most people are missing. Uh, however, there are a couple other games that are pretty hard to get and um, for those of you that are not familiar with the system or the games on the system, I'm about to show you my collection. So uh, sit back and enjoy. Alright guys, so first we will start off with the one and only game I have complete in the box and it just so happens to be sealed. And that is Virtual League Baseball. Now these boxes are the same size as Game Boy games. Still has the hang tab. Really nice to have at least one complete in the box. So I did not get a case for this one because I obviously have this, but at some point, I would like to get a loose copy and do the same thing that I'm doing with the rest. And then um, we've got Galactic Pinball. So these cases are made by CustomGameCases.com. And they make game uh, custom cases for uh, a ton of different games. However, I wanted them... Because the to get these games complete in the box, it's just ridiculously expensive. So I opted to go with loose cart only. But then I wanted to get these to keep them safe and to be able to display them. Um, because I really like the way these look. These mimic the real boxes with the artwork and um, the color scheme and everything else. So I really like these. Plus, these carts fit nice and snug with the um, dust cover on here. And uh, so, really, uh, really like the, uh, the cases. So, I highly recommend... Oh, no, I can't get this one back in. Highly recommend customgamecases.com. I think these were these cases were like six or seven bucks a piece. Um, so we've got uh, Galactic Pinball. And now that I have um, all of these games except for Jack Brothers, uh, I would like to go ahead and get manuals to uh, at least have cart and manual for these. So. That's my next goal as far as the Virtual Boy games, because Jack Bros is just out of reach. We've got Panic Bomber. And uh, I'm a big fan of the Virtual Boy. I think it's a really cool system, and um, I enjoy it, so... And we've got Vertical Force. I guess I could show you guys the carts as well for each and every one. So I just I do have just the carts for all of these except for obviously baseball, but um, would like to get the manual, like I said. All of these carts are in really nice shape. And I do have the dust sleeve for all of them except for one, I believe. Uh, but these things are super hard to find, so. I am keeping my eyes out for one more. I think, yep, that one's got it, got his. And then we've got Golf, which is actually a really good golf game. Yep, dust cover on that one. And we have Mario Clash. Super, super fun game. Dust cover on that one. I got lucky. All of my carts are in really, really nice shape. All of them are super clean. 
uh, Red Alarm. This is a really fun game as well. It's a Star Fox type flying game. Dust cover on that one. And we've got Mario's Tennis. This was the pack-in game, I believe, or at least the first one. This one does not have the dust sleeve or dust cover. I think it's the only one that's missing And we've got Nestor's Funky Bowling. If you guys know or don't know, Nestor was in the Nintendo Power Magazine. He had a comic in there. And uh, finally got some love with Nestor's Bowling. Dust cover on that one. This is one of the uh, rarer games. Then we have Tellero Boxer. This is a pretty cool game. Mike Tyson style. Except all you see is your fists and their body. So you don't see your whole body like Mike Tyson, but a uh, pretty cool game nonetheless. Probably utilizes the 3D uh, virtual aspect better than almost any other game. Does cover on that one. And we've got Wario Land. This is a fantastic game. Um, a must-have if you own the system for sure. I love the way he jumps from the foreground to the background and back, you know, back to the foreground. Just a wonderful game. Too bad this didn't get ported to a system where this game would get more love. Dust cover on that one. So like I said, I would like to get the manuals at least for all of these. And then we have Tetris, 3D Tetris. And uh, this is more like a block stacking game than it is a Tetris, um, but definitely unique and one of the rarer games again. And this one has its dust cover. And then the last game I have, guys. Waterworld. Obviously based off of the movie. And this game gets crapped on and deserves the majority of the crap it gets. However, it's not a horrible game. It's pretty entertaining i can sit and play this for 30 minutes at a time and uh i rather enjoy it so it's um definitely not great and definitely not worth the price of admission but um when you're going for a full set obviously you uh have to pick it up and there is the cart with dust cover so again, the only game I am missing is Jack Bros. And um, I just like the way that uh, all of these look when you have them displayed. Just has a very nice look on the shelf. And like I said, I would since this one's sealed, I'm probably going to get a loose copy and manual and uh, another case. So it's uniform on the shelf because that uh, bothers me a little bit. But um, yeah, that is 13 of the 14 North American Virtual Boy games, uh, carts only, other than baseball. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, Think about hitting that subscribe button for me and give me a big thumbs up. That always helps small channels like mine grow and gain traction. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the uh, the video. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the Virtual Boy. I think it's a really cool system, honestly. 
and most of the games are, are actually uh, decent games once you give it a chance. Um, I would at some point, uh, like I said before, like to um, get the manuals for all of the games that I do have and then do the same thing with the baseball game. And then who knows, maybe at some point down the road I might fall into a Jack Bros cart for, um, you know, at a Goodwill or something, you never know. Um, but uh, also, if you guys like those cases, again, that's customcases.com. Go check them out. They have cases for all different kinds of games and um, really reasonably priced, and they have a great product. So go check them out if that's interesting to you. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. And um, you can always come back next Monday and check out my handheld game of the week video. So until then, have a fantastic weekend, guys. Take care of yourselves out there and keep gaming.